So, pugsters or pugilists or whatever you want to call yourselves, this is a uh, a little um, addendum to all the videos that I've seen on the on the YouTube for about fixing this particular unit. This is a Com 2000 unit out of a Peugeot uh, 406, and there's a number of videos on how to uh, how to fix a couple of things in here. Um, one of them, and the most uh, one of the most common ones, is the is this indicator stock being sloppy. Okay, I'm not going to go into that because there's other people that have shown you how to do that. But that was why I was trying to fix this. And I'm going to tell you a couple of things that you might want to look out for. Or when you put it all back together, uh, you may end up with an airbag fault, which would be uh, more than a pain. And I've traced mine down to what the problem was. And it was a problem with reassembly. And it's a really easy mistake to make. Now, the first thing that happened um, is that... Here's another wee trick. When you go to take the string wheel off, there's a large bolt in the middle there. Loosen that up, but don't take it all the way out. The re I did. That was a dumb mistake because, of course, as you go to these wires are sitting through the string wheel, and of course, as you go to add enough force to try and pop that string wheel off, when it finally does come off, it'll nearly hit you in the face, and it'll drag all these wires and the entire clock spring mechanism out with it. Now, uh, if you ruin that clock spring wire, this whole unit is basically, you toss it. Um, you're not, that's not replaceable. Mine just sort of came out and ended up in a mess on the floor of the car. Um, I was able to put that, put that back together. It's not hard. It's not impossible. Um, and, you know, if you just think about it, um, it, it'll work, but it's all back together now, and I'm not going to take it apart to show you how to do that. But anyway, here's the deal. Couple, here's another couple of other things. One, you don't need to tape this down because there's a center collar here with a spring on it. When, this, when the steering wheel comes off, and this interlocks with the steering wheel, when the steering wheel comes off, this locks the clock spring in place so you can't turn it left or right. So you don't need to tape this thing down. You just need to be careful, okay? Don't go prying these things up and going, hey, I'm gonna have a look and see what's under there. <clears throat> so to get to fixing the stalk uh, and fixing the little the little uh, pin that, that goes sloppy and they get really worn. This car has over 350,000 kilometers on it. So it's done a lot of indicating and uh, it basically got really floppy. It was really annoying. So anyway, so do that. It's pretty simple. You just take this unit, split this unit in half. Now, there's a couple of tabs on the bottom here. There's a couple on the top. And again, I'm not gonna go through that. There are other videos on the, on the internet that will show you how to do that. But here is the trick. It's really easy, and I know because I did it, to put this thing back together. And these two connectors here are your airbag connectors you kind of want this to work this is your horn connector um, here's a here's a clever little trick if your horn works it's unlikely that this clock spring wire in here um, uh, is faulty it could be faulty if you have an airbag fault but if the horn works it's probably not that but here's what it could be if the horn works and these don't and you've just done this job and put it all back together and you get an airbag fault. It's easy to put this unit back together and miss this. Right here, on this side and on this side are the two connectors for the airbag. Now, <clears throat> these connectors have a little, you're not gonna be able to see inside there very well. Maybe you can. You can just see the two the two connectors pointing out there. Now, that's what it should look like. This is what it shouldn't look like. If we look at this one over here. See how there's kind of a blade down in there? It's it's it, you know, I'm doing this on iPad. It's not the best. My I didn't have a tripod for my camera, but there's a little blade in there. And that blade is so that when you disconnect these two connectors while this is in the car these blades short these connect these two connectors out to the airbag so the airbag can't go off 
even if you were some kind of Muppet and stuck 12 volts on these two pins somehow, it would basically short out and not send the voltage to the airbag. That's a really handy feature. But it's really easy to put this unit back together and it will clip back together and it will go in the car and the connectors will connect onto here and feel like they're positive. But what has happened is when you put it back together, it's easy to get the pins. Let's see if I can get the better light in there. You need to be able to see the pins. And to do that, you have to you have to kind of ease this connector back while the pins are uh, down below it and then bring it up so the pins don't end up like that. See how you can't see the pins in there? And the connectors, those two connectors are sitting over the top of the pins. You can see the, the two legs of the connector down in there. It'll work. You can plug everything back in. This thing will snap back together and feel like it's all working. But when you go to plug in the airbags, it won't work. What will happen is that little tang will push the airbag connectors out of the way, and so they'll never be connected. And what you'll get is an airbag, if you have a, a diagnostic tool, you'll get a, basically an airbag um, open circuit uh, on one or both of those. So that's it. When you put it back together, use a little uh, tool. I just use a, I just use a, uh, a popsicle stick, and I just... Put it down in there, put it on one side of the pins, and make sure when I put this thing back together, now that I know how to do it, that those pins are showing. And the other bad thing, of course, is if you do misassemble it, like I did, um, it's possible by putting those connectors in that you break one of these pins. Once you break all those pins, then you're kind of in deep doo-doo because they're, they actually are, are, are molded into this the base of this unit. So there you go. There's a mistake. So the other thing I'd say is if, is if somehow someone's done some work on your car underneath the steering wheel and, uh, or taken this unit out for any reason whatsoever and, when, and you didn't have an airbag fault before and you do after you put it back in, check those. And you can do that while it's still in the car. Just pop these connectors, use a mirror, use a light, look in there. If you can't see those pins, you know what the problem is. Anyway, good luck with that. See you in the next installment. Oh, here's another quick clue to tell you that uh, uh, this thing might have been assembled incorrectly and that problem exists. And there's a these little, um, those, those pins to the airbag. Where are we here? These pins to the, to the airbag um, are molded into this little piece of plastic right here. And if this is not sitting absolutely flush on both sides, you can kind of see it there. You can see it more easily. You can see it more easily there. I'm trying to do this. Uh, yeah, if that's not sitting, uh, if that's not sitting exactly flush, that's another another way to tell. Now the cool thing is um, uh, the fact that 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 little um, that little tang is shorting those pins out. You see now I'm looking in there and I can see both pins. Oh boy, that makes me happy. Believe me, I was I was dreading thinking that I'd screwed something up when that clock spring fell on the floor. Here's the other cool thing. Uh, if you want to check the continuity through the clock spring, it's really simple. Because those pins are shorted out when you pull those connectors, and you can do this while it's on the car, um, is basically just pop those two connectors off the back while it's still in the car. You'll have to take the steering wheel off and the airbag out, of course. But here's the deal. If you, um, if you basically run continuity, because those, that, that little tang is, is connected down at the bottom, and this is a straight-through connection through this clock spring wire, if this is working cor correctly, when those two plugs are out, you'll have continuity on each connector, right? Because it's just going down one side through the clock spring, hitting that little tang and coming back. You'll have continuity. You can hear the meter beeping away over there. You'll have continuity there and continuity on these two pins. Easy check. If you think your clock spring's bad, the horn doesn't work. First clue, the horn works, but you got an airbag fault. 
pull the steering wheel off, check that you have, uh, pull those two uh, plugs out and check that you have continuity there. That, give, that tells you whether you have continuity through the clock spring. Anyway, hope that's helpful.